Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the frame analysis. So in this lecture we are going to find out the support reactions to draw the shear force diagram and to also to draw the bending moment diagram for this frame. This frame consists of one beam and two columns. And this is being supported with the roller support and the hinge support. And this column, these two columns have the same length of 8 meter and this beam has a length of 10 meter. This beam has been loaded with a magnitude of 5 kN per meter. So this is a uniformly distributed load acting on this beam. While there is no load acting on the column. Now how to draw the shear force bending moment diagram for such frame. Let's consider this support is represented by A and this is represented by B. So in this will this will be the reaction RA, this will be the reaction RB. So to find out this reaction, we have to take the summation of moment, let's suppose at point B is equal to 0. And we choose that the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise taken as negative. So the moment at point B will be, the RA will create the moment about point B, so it will be clockwise moment force multiplied by the distance. So R is the force and moment arm is this distance, the 10 meter. So R A multiply with the 10. This will be the moment created by the R A and also this force is creating moment but this acting downward so it, it, it will be anti-clockwise moment about point B. So it will be minus 5 into 10. It is a uniformly distributed load so we have to multiply with the 10, multiply with the moment arm moment arm will be 10 divided by 2, it will be 5 because this distributed load will be converted into concentrated load so concentrated load will be acting at the center so at the center means that you have to divide the 10 by 2 so we have 5 meter here so this that's why we wrote it 5 here is equal to 0 summation of all moment about point B is equal to 0 Now it's easy to solve. So we got 250 and RA comes out to be 25 kilonewton. So this is 25 kilonewton. Now what is RB? So we have to take summation of vertical forces equal to zero and the upper forces will be taken as positive. The downward forces will be taken as negative. So all the upper forces is RA and RB while the downward force is this 5 kN per meter so it is distributed load so we have to multiply it with the length of 10 meter is equal to 0 because all the vertical forces are equal to 0 so we get RB if we transfer this into the right side 50 minus RA where 50 minus RA is 25 so we get 25 kilonewton so it means that RB is also equal to 25 kilonewton so this whole load is being taken by these two supports with the same magnitude 25 kilonewton and 25 kilonewton because it is a uniformly distributed load so half will be taken by this support and half will be taken by this support but this is the way how to calculate it. Now to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram, first I have to draw its free body diagram. Let's these are the two columns, and one is the beam. So I have to put the load on this beam, five kilonewton per meter, and this takes the R A here, which is twenty five kilonewton. This is just the free body diagram for this frame because with the help of free body diagram we can easily draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So this support, this column is also taken as 25 kilonewton. Now this 25 kilonewton will be transferred to this point here and again this 25 will be transferred to this point here. Similarly this 25 kilonewton will be transferred to this point and then again it will be transferred to this point. 
So this is the way how to draw the free body diagram for the frame. Now from this free body diagram, I will again draw the reference line for the shear force diagram. So now there is no load on these columns. You can see here there is zero kilonewton load on these columns. There is no transverse load. So the shear force diagram will be also zero for this column. There will be no shear force diagram. But only for the beam we have shear force diagram because we have the transverse load on this beam. So this 25 kilonewton is acting upward. So to draw the shear force diagram, this will be moving in upward direction up to 25 kilonewton. If I remove it here, if I write it here, so it will move up to, up to the 25 kilonewton. This is 25. And then the distributed load acting in downward position, in downward portion. So this whole length of the beam is 10 meter. So this is 10. So this is 5 into 10. 50. So this whole load is 50 kilonewton. So this whole load from this point up to this point is 50 kilonewton is acting downward. So we have to subtract 50 from this 25. So 25 is acting upward, acting upward and minus 250. So it is minus 25. So it means we have to bring this shear force up to the minus 25. Which is exactly is this 25. So this is acting upward. It will be positive shear force and this will be negative shear force. So we have a magnitude of 25 kilonewton on each side of the beam. Now to draw the bending moment diagram, again we have to draw the reference line for this frame. And similarly, for bending moment diagram, we just need to take the help from the shear force diagram. So this to find the area of these shear forces boxes. This is a triangle. You can see here the height is 25 kilonewton while this is 5 meter because there's a uniformly distributed load so it will make this shear force zero at the mid of this beam. So 5 meter is this and 5 meter is this and the total is 10 meter. Total is 10 meter. So to find the area of this box it will be A1 half base into height base is 5 meter and height is 25. So A1 comes out to be 62.5. So the area of this box is 62.5. So it will be 0 here and 62.5 at this point. Kilonewton meter because the bending moment is the unit of kilonewton meter. Similarly, the area of this box, the height is 25 and the base is 5. So it will be A2 is equal to half 5 into 25 with a negative sign so a2 will be equal to minus 62.5 so if we subtract this 62 from minus 62 so it will become zero so it means we have zero here at this point so this is the bending moment diagram for this frame so it is the maximum bending moment of 62.5 kilonewton meter and remember this shear force is a one degree line the shear force is a one degree line we we draw it here like inclined line it is a degree of one while this is a parabolic it is a two degree line because bending moment diagram is always one degree greater than the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram for this column will be zero and also for this column will be zero because there is no literal or transverse force acting on these two columns hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos